But join us today for a hobby showcase on Next Level Painting's fantastic White Scar Super Friends Army. Spiking bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. All right, welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear, and this is a hobby showcase on the fantastic White Scars Super Friend Space Marine Army by Next Level Painting, of course, Kenny Boucher. Now, Kenny painted this bad boy or this bad creation of, I want to say 2012, late 2012. And kind of when 5th edition hit, I want to say it was summer of 2012. And you know, Eldar kind of started to become a thing and we came up with the Super Friends to try to kind of negate a lot of that dirty Eldar and that dirty Tau shooting. Now it's been updated, he added in some of the uh, Iron Priests that you can see there and of course, uh, you know, with some Bark Barks, some Fenrisian Wolves slash Cyber Wolves, I guess you could say they're, they're either or there, that he added in later as the new Space Marine book came out, you know, make them more viable. And I guess these days, a lot of folks are adding in uh, Dark Angels and Librarians conclaves and things like that you know to um to basically so the list keeps keeps going forward and keeps getting updated and keeps uh you know it's still holding strong aaron alongs won like four tournaments in 2016 with them so you know you can't really knock uh the super friends themselves so let's take a closer look at just how good looking this army really is all right so here they are a little closer you can see the army itself basically is very self-explanatory i mean back in the day uh, stalkers were a thing, you know, flyers were a thing, so we took the stalkers in the list here. Um, not quite as big anymore, I suppose, but still, you know, worth having because our side armor is 12, so you can use them to block, you know, your troops and such over here. Now, there is 20 White Scar Space Marines with uh, magnetized flamers, I want to say, so you can switch out a flamer and melt up, or the sergeants have combis, I think uh, those are magnetized as well, that one is for sure. But then there's the Space Wolf Strike package, which you can, you know, definitely see in here. Like, here's uh, the Rune Priest. Then you can see a Wolf Guard Battle Leader right over here. And you can see Khan. You know, you got a Khan here. Now, these are all those Puppet Wars bikers that everybody was kind of losing their mind about back in the day. Like, these are great looking, counts as Spirit Sumerian models. And then, of course, right here, you've got a uh, Chapter Master with uh, Shield Eternal and Thunder Hammer, you know. Big, uh, big, you know what, swinger right there on the tabletop. Uh, of course, you've got the the command squad back here, all like decked out and complete puppets of war regalia. You know, very samurai looking. Kenny looked up all these glyphs. Uh, they don't mean anything profane. They actually mean like rage or like healing or something. I don't know. He explained it to me once. I, I wasn't paying attention. My eyes were glossing over because they're so pretty. They're so pretty. <laughs> uh, the rhinos back here are, you know, the new kit. Um, the Mark, what is it, Mark II, the, the, you know, there's a whole bunch of custom work done to it there, as you can see. The Thunderfire Cannon, which used to be a thing, it's, they're still pretty decent, is another, I think that's High Tech Miniatures, uh, did that. Now, we did a video showcase of this army, like, many years ago, I think when it first came out, of course. Our technology, I think you can agree, is a little bit better here on the channel these days, from the actual lighting to you know, the audio and the edits and, and all that stuff. So hopefully, you know, this second look at this army, even though it's about four, uh, four, three, four years apart, uh, hopefully is worth it for everybody out there. And of course, we got some updates here, you know, like the Iron Priest and with the new GW FAQ being out and allowing you to take these guys as the elite slot or the HQ slot with, you know, basically the different wound nomenclature and things like that is actually pretty exciting because now you can have a lot more of these guys. I mean, I would almost, like, if I was going to go to a tournament, I would add in probably three more of these bad bad boys here with a lot more puppy dogs, right? And um, probably a librarius, I would imagine, because those are pretty solid. But, I mean, you can really see a lot of the detail here. Like, this is basically kind of how I'm painting up my Mornfang uh, cavalry for... Um, the new Age of Sigmar, 
can see here it's a little a little easier there using a very similar paint scheme uh, to it now of course there's some new paints out nowadays which uh, make it a little easier thanks g-dubs but um you know instead of doing a, a bunch of custom mixings but i mean just take a look at him, all the detail on these guys like he really went to town on this from the edge highlighting to the airbrushing you know just all all of it everything all the conversions you know just everything these guys are so fresh and i mean this is this is easily a 2k army still these days i mean you might want to swap some stuff out but i mean on the tabletop this thing really hits like a ton of bricks you can see all the little bark barks there's all that and the little stalker gun the stalker uh vehicles right there like i said they're all you know this well this metal everything comes off of this it's all magnetized um, the top can come off for storage, you know, which really makes storing this uh, this tops right here uh, very, very good, I feel like. So, you know, these days it's still a great army, you know, it still looks very, very, very striking. I mean, take a look at these, even the troops, like, you really put a lot of time in on the troops themselves right here. Like, you can see all of the fresh hand details, everything painted by hand, you know, all the G-Dub, um... What is it? The uh, shoulder pads, The that's a tactical marking. Of course, you've got the, the white scars pad right there. I mean, just everything is done to a top-notch level. You know, Kenny won a lot of stuff, a lot of events with this list, you know. Um, he sold it, started switching over, playing a lot of uh, the chaos builds he's been doing, you know, from the spawns and things. And, man, it's just, it's so fresh to see this you know, still being relevant, you know, almost four years old, and really all you would have to do to make it, uh, to really take it to that next level and be a top level, level competitor is maybe add in a Librarius or even, you know, just some Dark Angel stuff which you can always uh, find on eBay or, you know, uh, black armor, not that hard to paint. There's all those great Death Watch guides out there because of course they are Ravenwing so they will be uh, black armor there if you added some Dark Angels. So that's, uh, it's pretty simple. This is, um, this is a really exciting army. Um, you know, we may update it here for some studio battle reports on a long war. It's really hard to say where we're going to go with this thing, but, you know, I just, I, I had it out. I wanted to get it on video. You know, so we're doing some more and more of these hobby showcases on here. So definitely drop us a note in the comments about, you know, if this is the sort of thing you would like to see more of, maybe hearing more about, you know, like the army list, the breakdown the tactics, you know, like what paints are involved, you just whatever you would like to hear about stuff like this, you know, let us know because, you know, like, hey, oh, what color is that, you know, that white or that faded right there? You know, that's that Reaper Harvest Brown we like to use so much. And it looks brighter than most of the weathering that we do on our tanks because uh, he did it over white, of course, but there is still that spritz of black there at the center of the, the smokestack you can kind of see. So, I mean, there's all sorts of, you know, uh, little stuff I can talk about on all these models because, you know, I know how they were done. I know generally what colors were used. Um, I mean, even from the stuff like this, like these little leaves, these little autumn leaves right here, you know, Secret Weapon Miniature sells those. That's the Secret Weapon Miniature's base. I think it's called um, Temple, I want to say. I think, I think it's... I think it's Temple. He like he really likes using those on on his miniatures there, um, because they look they look so fresh. Now, a uh, lot of cool stuff. Very very hobby centric army. You know from the squad markings. You know even even all the freehand and stuff he did on these hatches here. You know all of the rhinos. Plus, it, like I said, it's still a hard hitting hard hitting very hard hitting army. I mean you've got 150 point command squad right off the bat with storm shields grab guns you know basically you can call down the orbital strike which is represented by this little doodad the omniscope doodad on the back of the chapter master um you know so it's there's all sorts of little intricacies to this army and of course the white, white scars chapter tactics the stuff khan brings to the table remember khan actually gets um d3 hammer and wrath hits at strength five i think he's probably one of the only dudes that has a bonus uh, to his hammer rasp because normally they would be straightforward because of base, you know. Um, so just all sorts of little nuances, you know. Let us know where you want to go with these type of things, like what you would like to see in the comments because I can get up here and I can talk for 30 minutes, but I want to talk, I want to make sure I'm talking about, you know, the stuff that's relevant to, you know, your hobby needs up there because it is great to see um, amazingly painted miniatures, but, you know, if there's a lesson to be learned from painting or 
or tactics or something like that. You know, that's the kind of the direction we want to go here on the channel because, you know, Spiky Bits is definitely all about bringing a hobby back, but it's also about having a safe place to hobby and, you know, making sure that everybody's adding all these, these great hobby tips and tutorials uh, to their hobby toolbox or their hobby arsenal. So, you know, you might only get an hour to paint a day. You know, some of us uh, get less than that. I, I I try to get my hour in. You know, these uh, these muscles here, these hobby muscles, they're they're strong, but uh, they can be a lot stronger. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you, you don't get muscles like this just, you know, sitting around not painting all day and inside a, inside a room and not going outside in the sunlight, you know. <laughs> this, is what, this is what we do here, I guess. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So that's it for this one. I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, hobby showcase of uh, the White Scar Super Friends by Ken Kenny Boucher, of course, next level painting. Great, amazing, amazing artist. Check out his channel. You know, of course, it's at next level painting. Check out his Twitch. Uh, couldn't tell you what that is, but it's probably something to do with Yo Dog. You could probably just Google Yo Dog and it'll just probably pop up with Kenny Boucher. I, I imagine and, uh, you can find all his, all his stuff on there. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.